Mm. White Dresses is the story of my mother's life and my life and to a certain degree, my young daughter's life through the white dresses that we've worn on significant days in our lives. So all of the chapters begin with the tale of a, of a white dress. We start with my mother's baptism dress. Uh, we go up through my daughter's baptism dress. And of interest, are, of course, is, is the day that my mother became a nun. Uh, many people don't realize that when a nun takes her first vows, she is considered a bride of Christ and she actually wears a wedding gown. It was just a, a very, very tough time in her life. Instead of going into what I think she thought was going to be this very fulfilling life, she was met with a lot of rigidity and, and a lot of emotional abuse. My mother left the convent in a very dramatic fashion, and no sooner had she gotten herself back together and married my father, she found out that my father was gay. White Dresses goes into that time uh, and what it meant uh, to be living in a small town in the middle of the U.S. Uh, in which many people honestly believed that nobody was gay. Chronic depression really got the best of her. Ultimately, the chronic depression spiraled into uh, a couple of decades of, of hoarding. For the last 10 years of my mother's life, I wasn't allowed back into my childhood home. The hoarding had gotten so out of control. And so White Dresses also goes into uh, what it is to grow up the child of a hoarder. My favorite white dress, without a doubt, is the Vera Wang wedding gown that I wore when I married my husband. If there's a real happy ending at all to speak of in the book, it's a happy ending, or I should say a happy beginning for me, and I think it was such a happy, happy moment for my mother as well. White dresses, it's a story above all about mothers and daughters and faith and hope, even in the face of adversity. Can you say white dresses? White dresses. Yeah. Yeah, white dresses.